Do you suck at chess? Well then this is a video for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to look like an absolute chess grandmaster in front of your friends and your family even if you actually suck and blunder your queen every time you play. Hopefully by the end of this video you will be able to create a fake perception of skill and talent in the game of chess to make your friends and your family think that you will become the next chess world champion. Let's hop right into the first tip. The first tip to look like an absolute chess grandmaster is to turn every blunder that you make into a gambit. If you just hung your queen, no, that wasn't a mistake. That was a brilliant sacrifice to create an attack or an opportunity against the enemy pieces. Let's take a look at this position to see exactly what I mean. Okay, so my queen's under attack by the rook and by the pawn, so I'm gonna have to move it out of the way. I could move it to g4 and then attack the bishop. Dude. Okay, let's do that. Dude, okay. No, I did not hang my queen. Okay, that was a gambit because now I can move my I can move my bishop up to e7 and attack the rook because now the queen isn't protecting the the e7 square anymore from e6. Okay, dude. I'm so smart. No. The second way to look like an absolute chess genius is to follow all of the unwritten rules of chess. One of the most famous being en passant. En passant is when a pawn moves up two squares and the opposite colored pawn is right next to it. The player now has the opportunity to take this pawn. Unanimously, across all chess players, this move is always forced. It doesn't matter if you have checkmate in one move and you will end up losing the game. You are forced to take their pawn. Let's take a look at this next clip to see exactly what I mean. I'm going to have to gambit my queen, but it is going to be for real this time. Okay, I move my queen up to g8. And then the rook has to take. And then I am threatening smothered mate with my knight. But the black knight is still defending. So I take with the pawn. And then the knight is not defending the f7 square anymore. And then smothered mate is unstoppable. Dude. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Okay, he took. Okay, now I have to take the knight with the pawn. Now, the f7 square is open. Dude, oh my goodness. Dude, no! It can't be, dude! My opponent just moved his B pawn up two squares, so now en passant is forced. Dude, no! No! It can't be, no! No! The third way to make people think that you are a chess legend is to make your own opening. If you're playing an opening, for example, like the Vienna Gambit, and you forget what the next move you should make is, just make a random move and give that opening a brand new name. For example, the Roman Gambit. So I'm going to play the Queen's Gambit right now. Oh. I don't remember what to do in this line. Shoot. I'm actually going to use my own opening now that I created all by myself. So basically, you move your F pawn up to F3, and then your G pawn up to G4. And you create a flank attack on the other side of the board. So when the opponent takes both of these pawns, you're already striking back on the, on the right side of the board. And so you're going to be in a very good position. So let's try that out. Yeah, they took, like I said. So let's continue the Jester's Gambit, my own opening. Okay. Okay, so we checked my king. That's not a big deal. I can just block with a knight to d2 and yeah i'm still i'm still chilling what the fourth way to seem like an absolute chess genius in front of your friends and your family is to overcomplicate and overanalyze every single play you see if you just scream takes 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 and takes a bunch of times eventually the people affected in your game will have absolutely no idea what you are talking about and they will think that you are a chess super genius and that you will become the best chess player on this planet let's take a look at this clip to see exactly what i mean dude i think i'm a genius i might be better than cagnus marlson okay so if takes 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 and then if the king runs to to h8 and the queen slides up, takes, that's a check, the king has to run back, and then I will take 
on g7, and that is a checkmate in one move. But if the king runs to this square first, let's see how that goes. If takes, 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 slide the knight takes, and that is also checkmate. Dude, oh my gosh, I am a genius. Look at that. What? Dude. What? No. 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 The fifth thing that you need to do to act like a total chess genius is to learn proper chess notation. So you see, the pieces on the chessboard have proper names. There's the tower, the horsey, the priest, the tiara, and the crown. And in front of them are all the plebeians. The board also has different names for all of its squares. As you can see, the board is numbered 1 through 8 and A through H. When naming the squares, the number always comes first. For example, 4E. As we can see, the black crown is in a very dire situation. The tiara is going to slide to 7G and then the, the crown is going to run down to 5H and then the tiara is going to checkmate the crown in one move on 5G. This is not looking good for the black king so he has to look a bit deeper in this position the black crown finds a legendary move the black crown runs to 27w what a brilliant escape from the black crown but oh no the white crown responds with a triple tiara attack upon the black crown this is actually wild chess has never been seen played before like this but the black crown has one more final answer, okay? He's not going to run to a different dimension. Those options have all run out. He's going to respond with one of the most brilliant tactics I have ever seen playing the game of chess. A reverse Uno card was played by the black crown and all pieces have swapped colors. That was actually a genius play. GG for the black crown. Just amazing. What a game. The sixth way to look like an absolute chess grandmaster is to always resign. No matter what, if you overcalculate every single position to the extreme, people spectating your game will have absolutely no idea what you are talking about. And if you just resign because the position is so complex and so overdeveloped that nobody else can interpret actually what you're saying at all, people will think that you are just a genius. Take a look at this clip and you will see what I mean. Alright, pawn e4. Okay, C C six takes 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 and if takes 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 and if takes 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 and if takes 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 and if takes 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 and if takes and if takes 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 and if takes if takes 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 if takes 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 and if takes 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 dude that's checkmate in fifty one moves I just I resign. The last way to make your friends and family think that you are a chess legend is to make chess YouTube videos. Making chess YouTube videos will help familiarize- Anthony, come here! Dad, Dad, I'm, make, I'm making a YouTube video, Dad. Shut up, Anthony! You're never gonna make it! Quit your YouTube channel! No, no, Dad, Dad!